Hey guys, so me, the family, we're here AMC, and we just watched the new Batman movie, right? So this thing has been hyped up, 10 out of 10 Rotten Tomatoes. So opening night, we decide we're gonna come here, obviously. My brother here, Eric, has the Batman right. shirt on, right? We're big fans, right? Huge fans. Remember the first Batman, I Michael love Keaton, Batman. 1989, Tim Burton, classic, okay? And it's been through some different different characters as far as right. Batman. And obviously the last trilogy with Christopher Nolan and Christopher, Christian Bale, phenomenal, all three of those movies. So we had big expectations for this one, right guys? Yeah, yeah I had very, very, very high expectations for this movie. Especially with all the hype out there, yeah. all right? So, a lot of hype. You know, basically, I, we're not gonna do any spoilers, but it was a great movie as far as storyline. This is this is John's opinion. As far as storyline, I think it was great. I think the you know as far as the villains, they were really good. Plot set up straight. Patterson is Batman. I don't know if he needed maybe a little bit more of a, a beard so, or, so, or what it was. Yeah. What, what, what exactly it was he was missing? You know, I remember when they were making the movie, and this is like COVID, like right. So, and he was talking about you don't have to work out to be Batman. Right. Well, this dude needs to go hit the gym because he made Batman look puny. All right. I know we don't have to be that big, but even the face and the helmet and everything like that, you'll see. I think that was a letdown. I, I asked John in the middle of the movie if this was when Batman was like 19 or 20. You're he two. told me yes. You're two. You're two. It wasn't the <laughs> he early. He said yes. Batman, but lined right? up. This is lined up. Uh, lined up. You know, Joe or uh, Riddler. <laughs> Phenomenal, like Riddler's best part. I, yeah, I think that Riddler, probably yeah, was Riddler the best part. Was show. Yeah, big setup with the penguin in there. That was cool. Uh, I don't know. It was it was a good movie. I, I think out of five stars, I'm gonna give it a three. What do you guys think? I'm a, I'm gonna give it probably a, a two and a half. Two and a half out of five. And I, listen, I'm a huge yeah. fan of Batman. I love Batman. I mean, yeah, so do listen, I. My, my favorite version of Batman is probably Bane. Bane and Joker, the last two have been the best. So my expectations were way up here. So I mean, I don't know. That's why I've given it the stars I've given it. Not you, Eric. Say three, two. Three out of five. Three out of five. What do you think was the best part? Uh, best part was definitely the Riddler and. Um, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, for the, the, the parts of the movie you did see. The Batmobile, see. the Batmobile. Three out of ten. Three out of ten. Well, wow. Out of five. Out of Who five. Out of five. Out of five. One out of five. Whoa. Well, he was only up half the movie, so he got the, like half a review of it. So he's pretty close. It is what it is, but you know what? Don't listen to our reviews. Take it for what it is. Grain of salt. Everybody's different. Go see it yourself. You know, maybe we'll watch it a second time, and we might like it a lot more. We're gonna Who watch knows? it again, but it it'll will. probably be maybe a half we point. We'll definitely half go see it more. again. And you know what? If the review changes, we'll do an update for it. But that's what we're uh, we're sticking with right now, that's right? right? So go see the Batman, see what it is, check it out, and maybe you'll have your better review than us. Batman!